We're going to perform a beam alignment on the Fusion M2. This would be for any Epilog Fusion M2 or Pre-M2 Fusion, the first generation. These are the tools needed to perform a beam alignment on any Epilog Fusion laser system. Some masking tape, the bullseye alignment target, which is simply a plastic piece that's actually lasered and inset into this plastic receptacle and that's going to fit into the side lens assembly on the machine. Phillips head screwdriver medium point, a 3 32nd inch allen wrench standard and a 5 32nd inch allen wrench standard along with some safety glasses. The first thing we're going to do is remove the left side panel facing the machine. Our system is unplugged and not powered up at this time. Next, we'll remove the bottom side panel. This left side exposes the alignment mirrors that come from the laser tube and direct the beam onto the laser table. Next, we want to spin the machine around and take off the back side panel to see the laser tube. From this view, we were looking at the back side of the machine where the laser tube is located. The far left side shows where the wiring and the power comes in. That's the power lead and the network cable that plugs directly into the left side of the tube. And then over here on the right side, we have the red dot pointer. So our red dot pointer has the alignment screws we're going to take a look at. So these screws located right here and here and one on the back are used to adjust the red dot pointer to the target bullseye assembly. And as we adjust these screws only, that's moving the red dot only. These screws here only adjust the red dot, not the real laser. So let me describe the general concept of aligning the beam alignment of the laser on the fusion. You have the laser source here, the power or the tube or wavelength of light is coming through this chamber past the red dot. Then what that does, it comes in contact with this first mirror right here on the bottom. This is considered mirror number one. Then, after the beam hits mirror number one, it reflects up through a periscope and is directed to mirror number two located right up here in this chamber. This mirror then sends the beam from here through this window over to this mirror that's on the x-axis assembly. Let's get a closer look. So to repeat, it comes from here, up the periscope, through this window, over here, comes in contact with this mirror, and then that mirror sends the beam over there to the lens assembly. Once it hits this mirror located here, it goes through the lens. Now we'll move around to the back side. By pulling off this cover, we'll have easy access to the alignment screws. Let's turn the power on to get started. It'll take just a moment to get the machine initialized. And that will move the table down to the correct position, starting place, and move the lens carriage to the back left corner assembly area. So on our display here, we just have the word job, meaning the machine is initialized and ready. So that we can get to the lens assembly easier, we're going to put the machine in jog mode in jog mode that allows us to use the joystick and simply move the carriage out to a closer area on the table making it easier access to the lens and the mirror assembly. Now we're going to take some masking tape, 
put that over the bullseye target and place that inside the lens assembly. Now that we have our bullseye target in the lens assembly with the masking tape covering the target, we're going to turn on the red dot pointer by going to our display and just pushing the red dot pointer button. Now that we've turned on our pointer, we can actually see that the red dot is very close to the center of the target, if not dead on, on the bullseye. So that's a good place to be for the red dot pointer. Now that we have the red dot pointer on, we can see that that's in the center of the target. That's exactly where we want it to be. At this point, we're ready to verify that the real laser is in line where the red dot is. To do this, we'll need to go over to the display and fire the laser. To fire the laser, we need to be sure that our top door is closed. Once the top door is closed, to fire the laser, we can push and hold the white laser button. And while it's in jog mode, we can simply tap the joystick in any direction and that will activate the laser beam to fire. So we just want a short tap so that we get a black mark or a burnt spot from the laser on the tape. So pushing it down, laser's enabled, and a quick tap by the joystick fires the laser. So what we see here is we've tested out in the center middle of the table that our red dot pointer is in the center of the bullseye target and our real laser is in the center of the target and both of those perfectly aligned and that's what we need. Now we have to be sure that that laser will stay aligned in all four corners of the table. We can use the joystick on the keypad to jog that to each corner and verify the laser's alignment. So to verify the alignment in all four corners we can simply use the keypad here and with the system in jog mode, we can use the joystick to jog that to each of the four corners. So we can use the laser and move that over to the left side, in the upper left corner. Then we're gonna test that and take a look at that as it's in the lower left corner. Upper left, lower left. And then we can move that over to the far right corner. So as we jog, the lens assembly in all four corners, we're going to take a look at the laser beam and the red dot to be sure they're staying centered all the way across. So I'm going to push reset and that's going to send that back to the upper left hand corner. Now we'll arrow down to jog, push it off of that left upper left corner a little bit and take a look at the alignment. Okay, so here we have the lens assembly in the upper left hand corner. And at the display, we are in jog mode. And now we're going to use our joystick and jog the lens assembly from the upper left to the lower left. And what we're doing is we're making sure that that red dot is stays center in the target all the way across, front to back. And as long as we stay inside that inner circle, we're gonna call that good, okay? So that's what you wanna do is move that lens assembly from the upper left corner to the lower left, being sure that that red dot stays centered all the way across. Now if by chance, in the upper left hand corner, your laser beam is out of alignment from the target, in this specific upper left corner, you're going to be using the mirror that's on the lower left side. This is the lower left mirror here. And you're going to adjust the three Allen screws till that beam gets in the center of the target while it's in this corner of the table. Now, once we have that in the upper left hand corner and we verified that it's in the correct position using mirror number one, we're going to jog the lens assembly to the front of the machine 
and get to corner number two, which is the lower left corner. In this lower left corner, if the laser beam was off from the target, we're going to adjust the upper mirror, which is mirror number two, over on this side of the system. So using our Allen wrench, we would adjust those three screws until our laser beam is in alignment while it is in this corner of the table. Now that we are in the lower left corner, we're gonna verify that all is okay with our beam alignment and push that to the lower and upper left corner. So we're just going in a back and forth motion, making sure that our laser beam is in parallel to the table, staying in the center of that target. And we're using the corresponding mirrors to this corresponding corner of the table. So the upper left corner uses the lower mirror, mirror number one, and the lower left corner uses the top mirror, mirror number two. Once that's done, we're done with our alignment to the front and back of the machine. All right, so now that we've got our mirror in alignment and our lens assembly as it moves front to back, we want to check it as it's in the x-axis as the lens moves to the left side of the table to the right side of the table, making sure it stays in alignment that direction. So we're going to bring our lens assembly to the center area of the table. And then now we're going to move that lens in the x-axis to the other side. And what we're verifying is that our red dot has dropped down just a little bit outside of center. So we're going to use the mirror that is on the X carriage assembly. And as we adjust that mirror, we're gonna get that till it's exactly right in the center on the far right side of the table. So small adjustment screws to this mirror puts it in the center of our target as it's on the right side. Now we'll move it back to the left side to be sure it doesn't move. Perfect. So all in all our concept was to be sure that our lens assembly with the bullseye and the target, as the carriage moves front to back, we're using mirrors number one and two to get our target aligned front to back. And then we're using the other mirror that's on the x-axis carriage on the left side so that we're ensuring that it's parallel to the table. Our alignment is straight all the way across left and right. And that is what a beam alignment is all about, is being sure that as that lens assembly moves anywhere on the table that it's staying in that center position. Now we'll simply remove the lens assembly bullseye target and we'll push reset and that go back to the home, button it back up.